In the dark annals of history, there exists a torture so gruesome, so barbaric, it sends shivers down the spine of any who dare to hear its name whispered in the shadows. Anatsurushi, the dreaded hole hanging, a method devised in the depths of cruelty to break the spirits of the faithful. Picture, if you will, the scene of torment, a solitary figure, a Christian, branded with the mark of their faith, dangling like a puppet, inverted, their world turned upside down. Bound by their feet, they hang suspended, their body a canvas of agony. But the horror does not end there. For the tormentors, in their sadistic glee, devised a further torment. One hand cruelly restrained by unforgiving rope, while the other is granted a fleeting freedom. A twisted game of hope and despair, where the flicker of a finger could seal their fate. Imagine the depths of suffering as the victim is lowered into a pit, a pit filled not with earth, but with the filth of humanity. Excrement stains their clothes, their skin, their very soul as they endure the stench of degradation. And still, the tormentors are not satisfied. With meticulous precision, they slice the flesh, drawing crimson rivers from the temples, seeking to quell the fire of defiance that burns within. But amidst the agony, there are whispers of defiance. Heroes like Lorenzo Ruiz, whose spirit refused to yield, even in the face of unspeakable torment. For some, the resolve remained unbroken, a testament to the strength of faith in the face of unrelenting cruelty. Yet, for many the torment proved too much to bear. An estimated two thousand souls, martyrs to their beliefs, their voices silenced by the merciless hand of oppression. In the end, the shogunate achieved its goal. Through pain and suffering, they purged the land of the Christians, leaving behind a trail of broken bodies and shattered faith. But in the darkness of the dungeons, amidst the cries of the tortured, the light of defiance still flickered, a beacon of hope for those who dared to dream of freedom.